Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. You're watching Two Men Outdoors. Um, today, I have to go help my neighbor plant some Christmas trees. Uh, but last time, I was out here planting my trees. Forgot to grab the camera and record. We were just so busy trying to get everything in the ground with a limited amount of time to do it. And I know I posted a picture of us planting to one of the John Deere Facebook groups I'm part of. And it struck a lot of interest. A lot of people were like, oh my God, what kind of planter is that? Where'd you get it? How much is it? And I know when I was looking at buying this, I couldn't find any information on it besides what the manufacturer was giving me. I looked all over the place over YouTube. I looked all over the internet and there just wasn't a lot of information about this planter. And to me, that was really frustrating so today i'm going to kind of go over it um how it works pros and cons what i like about it what i don't like about it uh, who manufactures it um see if i can find a price how much i got it for and then afterwards we'll go over and help my neighbor start planting basically this is a ct12 it's from mechanical transplanter we were built right right here in michigan they're out of holland i actually went and picked this up there's multiple different size tree planters. I think they have CT4, this is the CT12. Um, I believe they do make some custom order stuff that's a little bit bigger than this. But for what I needed, this fit the bill perfectly. I know I do plugs. Plugs are basically seedlings. I do plug plus ones or plus twos, which is their first year, second year transplants. And they're a little bit bigger. So I needed something to accommodate that extra tree size and I needed something that would work in a no-till environment and something that's going to set my spacing correctly. So that's why I went with the CT12 is just bigger, more heavy duty, and it's what I need. It, it's, it works for me. This is a category two three-point hitch setup. It does not fit a category one. Um, this tractor actually the 466M comes with a Cat 2 setup. The 466R, which I have, which is this, comes with a Cat 1 setup. So I just had to put some bushings in there to basically make it fit in the holes on the implement. I know weight and pulling power is not going to be an issue with this. So I just went ahead and did that. This is a little heavy. This weighs 1,700 pounds, they say. So it's definitely not for a smaller tractor. Basically how this works is it's got a disc in the front, which will go in front of the coulter and break up that loose ground. That's the no-till application I was talking about. Then it's got a plow shoe, you pull it into the ground and it's got the coulter and that breaks basically open that ground and it has the tree pocket here, and this will just spread that ground open. And after that happens, you have two people that sit up in the seats here, and these are the drive wheels. As this is going along the ground, these drive wheels are going to turn, and it turns this chain. And on this chain, you got your plant pockets or your tree pockets. You'll basically put your tree in here with the transition zone down at the bottom, this is ground level. And as this wheel spins, it will bring this down. And when it brings it down, it'll squeeze that tree in there. And as it continues down, I don't know if you guys can see that, it'll place the tree in there. And as soon as it's completely upright, it'll release it. And it just keeps doing that. You have, it comes with three pockets. I put two for the spacing I need. I have, I need two pockets on there instead of three because I was doing six foot spacing originally with the one uh, variety of trees I was planting. And, on, and then after it plants that tree, you have these two wheels, which will go behind everything and squeeze everything back together around that tree, tucking in there nice and tight, but not too tight. You have five gallon bucket holders. That's how I put all my trees in there. My root dip. And you have your tree trays that are readily accessible. 
This is a picture of the spacing chart on here. It comes with sprockets. It tells you number of teeth per sprocket you need to achieve the spacing you want. So I have two pockets on here. I have a seven tooth sprocket, it'll give me 60 inch spacing. I have an eight tooth sprocket, it'll give me 68 inch. Nine tooth sprocket, 75. 10 tooth sprocket, 83. 11 tooth sprocket, 90 inches. And all you have to do to change the sprockets, take a bolt off on each side, pop these chain covers off, and this drive sprockets are right in here. And just pull right off. I think it's a cotter pin that holds on the front and it's got teeth in the back that turn that gear. And that's all it is. And you just adjust your tension off these bolts on the inside, well, outside. Can't see them from the outside because this, oh yeah, you can. Adjust your, your tension with that and that'll set your chain tension where you need it to be. Overall, once I learn how to use it, it works pretty good. The only issue I had was in real muddy. It's muddy in my front field and in parts of that backfield there. The drive tires didn't want to grab in too well and it starts slipping, which was an issue. So, but the problem is if I, I put a hydraulic top link on this to get it to where I want it. But the problem is if I retracted that top link and got these drive wheels to be close to the ground, then the packing wheels would not be far enough down or enough pressure to pack that soil in. So I think what I'm gonna do for next season is I ordered a three-point downforce kit, which will apply 500 pounds of pressure onto the three-point, and that'll force it towards the ground more. I think that will definitely help. Um, we'll try it and see how that works. Um, if not, I'm gonna have to come up with something else. I'm um, trying to think what else. But other than that, it works really well. I've had no issues with it. Uh, I think once we got moving, we were planting about 1,000 trees an hour if we weren't to stop and turn around. I mean, we were moving along pretty quickly. We were planting a tree every couple, every two seconds. So every two, three seconds, I mean, that's pretty quick. I had 3,000 trees to get in, and I think we're out here Friday night. And we started, you know... No, we were out here for what? Friday night, I think around five. Six, seven, eight, nine. And we're out here to nine and we banged out a thousand. And that's with, you know, prepping and figuring out where I was going to put everything, you know, marking out all my lines, making straight lines is a little more difficult than it looks. Um, but once we got that down pat and we banged out a thousand, I think we came back out here Sunday, started at eight, got a late start of actually planting because people wanted to sleep in and show up late. Well, I think we started around nine and by 12, 1 o'clock, we had 2,000 trees in the ground, and yeah, we were done. So this thing works really well. I'm pretty impressed so far. But like I said, this is my first season using it. I'm sure I'll have some things to say afterwards. I don't know. We'll find out. But yep, that's about it. I will talk to you guys in a little bit when I'm out there planting trees.